trade deadline. People are going. People are coming. I got to tell you what's going on. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of EDOT TV. Now, today, the NBA trades went down. The deadline came and the deadline passed. And players are packing and players are moving. Most notably, the slam dunk champion, Nate Robinson, of the New York Knicks, has been traded to the Boston Celtics. That's probably going to be somebody that the Celtics can use to bolster their bench to get a little heat coming off their bench. But I'd like to give you my personal winners and losers of today's NBA draft and all the dealings that took place. From, top, from uh, the top to the bottom, the number one winner in my book was the Cleveland Cavaliers with the acquisition of Antoine Jameson. I mean, the dude is a 6'10 power forward with a post-up game and can shoot. I mean, I know the Cavs are back jammed with power forwards, but hey, maybe Antoine Jameson can play the three. And the problem that they had last year playing the Orlando Magic were tall, slim guys that could shoot. They went out and got themselves one. So we'll see if Tuan is the one that can put them over the hoop. Now, we have the Dallas Mavericks. I mean, hey, we know Mark Cuban. He's always wanting to make trades and big trades and multiplayer trades and multi-team trades. But this one, I think, actually might come to fruition. I mean, the Dallas Mavericks, they've acquired Karan Butler, a nice swing man who could uh, switch it from the outside and dunk it on the inside. Deshaun Stevenson, who, you know, the guy has never saw a shot he didn't like. And Brendan Haywood, I mean, he's a nice little seven-footer. I should say little talk about he's a seven-footer. But he's a seven-footer with a little bit of a post-up game, more so than Eric Dampier. That should help bolster that interior defense as well as interior scoring. And last but not least, I mean, hey, they've never made the playoffs before, but they were winning today with the Charlotte Bobcats. That's right, the Charlotte Bobcats. They acquired Tyrese Thomas today from the Chicago Bulls. And I mean, hey, you got an athletic, maybe you could say the most athletic, maybe, uh, front court in the NBA. I mean, these guys have uh, Gerald Wallace. You acquired Tyrese Thomas. And I mean, you know, you got players like Raymond Felton running around the perimeter on the point guard position, making things happen. And you have St Sean Stevenson, or it's not Sean Stevenson, but you know who I'm talking about. Stevenson, number one, the two guard, the guy that was on Golden State. Him. They have him running around on the perimeter, too. So they got a lot of things that's going on for them in a real positive direction. Now, let's talk about the guys who took some L's today. Most notably, the Phoenix Suns. I mean, Amari Stoudemire was probably the most talked about going to be traded player since day one of the NBA season, and he didn't get traded. His contract is up, so pretty much you're not going to get anything for Amari and just let him walk out of the door. Why are you going to do that? I have no idea. The Miami Heat. Dwayne Wade, great player, all-star, but, you know, nowadays you need a Batman and Robin. I mean, you had Jordan and you had Pippen. You had Stockton and Malone. Most notably, you had Shaq and you had Bryant. Now, I mean, Wade, he doesn't have anybody. So the fact that they didn't make a move to get anybody before the trade deadline, I don't really think the Miami Heat are going to go that far in the playoffs, and I think that they were a loser in the NBA trades that took place. And last but not least, I mean, they're still an okay team, but the San Antonio Spurs, I mean... Tim, Timmy Fundamentals, man. He's my man, but he is getting up there age. And Tony Parker, I mean, he's a married man. And, you know, with Miss Longoria, you know, he has a lot of other things to do other than playing basketball. You feel me? And Richard Jefferson, at this point, he's just not getting it done. They infused some young players, but I think maybe if they would have got another star player, somebody of some higher caliber talent, that could have maybe helped them. But I thought that by them not doing anything, that really didn't help the team. So that's what you got for your winners and losers today for EDI TV. Peace.